This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Atlanta Falcons. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the New Orleans Saints. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon along with Charles Davis. And Charles, we take a look at this Falcons team as they interplay. It's been a great start to the season. Back-to-back -back wins to begin the campaign. Yeah, you don't want to get too excited. There's still a lot of season to go. But they've come out playing good fundamental football, and that might carry them a long way. Meanwhile, for the visiting Saints, they too were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. Really helps him on third down, makes it manageable now. Here's Vic. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that out of the way and bring up second down. And an alley to run. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. To throw, Vic. He sets to fire deep. And that's caught inside the 35. An excellent pick up of 34 yards. Vic on second down. This is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A line engaged because now they know there's going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback, so they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he will score. Touchdown, Falcons. It's their quarterback hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game.
first down throw coming for Vic. Stepping up, he'll try and run. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Now here's Vic. Throw across his body and it's intercepted. Picked up by Marcus Williams. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. This game. Now a second down throw for Vic. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Result, unable to hold on to the football. Throwing, Vic, going up top. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Back. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Drops it off for Coleman. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that block. Wide open receiver complete. 26, 26. Second down, Vic. Connects with Sanu right side. And he gets it down to the 32. Boy, he'll get all the credit, but how about the people at the block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes this is caught. It's Sanu this time for a Falcon touchdown. kids he'd run about three different routes and that was it now he can run anything and catch the ball as we just saw there here's Sanu on the catch give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs Vic will look to throw on first down They're looking for his tight end on the corner it's complete hoping to get it to him he can make a man or two miss but that window closed quickly oh he cannot get away down goes Vic Second goal, last thing you need to team. From the gun, Vic. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Cameron Jordan in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon.
Vic to throw it. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. It's a big play there for Atlanta. 71 yards. Coleman now. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Vic on the sneak. And he gets in. Touchdown Atlanta. It's their cornerback. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute order. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Coleman powers through. Got some real estate inside the 30. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Evan. This is Coleman. And he spins through. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. The nose of the football. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They'll give it to him up the middle. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. It's about a three-yard pickup there, but more importantly, they're still a few yards away here. It's now fourth down and goal. Well, no doubt an electrifying finish to have it down inside the 10-yard line. That final shot, though, they couldn't get it in the end zone, and that's all she wrote. And they had the final shot. The last snap taken that close to the end zone. They don't get it in, so they'll regret that. But flip it over, making a stand in that portion of the field, congratulations to them. So for the Falcons, it's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll have another home date next week as the Cincinnati Bengals come to town.